Hello guys, this is Gino here. Today I'm going to show you how you can manipulate images in a chatbot using Chatfuel, Cloudinary, and Integromat. At the end of the tutorial, you will be able to send this certificate to your user. It will display today's date. The user can change their photos and their name. At the moment, Facebook profile URL isn't working. So for this demo, I'll need user to upload their profile photo. After user has uploaded their images, Cloudinary will process the image. It can detect faces and show the biggest face in the photo. So for this example, it's mine obviously. Let's try another photo. And edit the name to display my full name. So that's all for today. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's get started. We'll start with chat view. First, create a new blank bot and you will see this screen. We only need to create three blocks. The first block is upload photo. Second block is display certificate. Third block is edit name. Insert a typing animation here and user input to allow user to type in their name. Let's create an attribute for the name display in the certificate. Next, create a go to block to display the certificate. Now we go to the welcome message block, delete, delete the default message. Add a set user attribute card. Set file name attribute to messenger user ID. Create a plus one attribute and set the value to one. Lastly, set search name attribute to first name. Then add a go to block to direct user to upload photo. Create a typing action and add in user input. This is where we ask user to upload their profile photo. Add a setup user attribute card. Set file name attribute to file name plus one. This is to create a counter so that every time the user upload a photo, the file name will be different. Next, create a JSON API. Basically, this card is to upload the image to Cloudinary, but let's just leave it blank for now. Next, create another go to block to display the certificate. Now, the best part, go to display certificate and create a typing animation. Create a JSON API to retrieve image from Cloudinary. Just leave it blank for now and create a text card. Type in anything you want or you can follow mine. Add a button to allow user to change their photo. Enter the block name upload photo. Add another button to allow user to edit their name. And direct it to edit name block. Alright, now we have done with the appetizer, now is the main course, 
Cloudinary. If you do not have an account yet, please create using my referral link below. But if you have an account already, please delete it and recreate using my referral link below. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. Before we go into Cloudinary, you need to download this certificate template. You can find the link below, download it now. After you have done, log in to Cloudinary. Once you have logged in, you should see the dashboard. Copy and save your cloud name in a notepad. Next, go to Media Library. Create a folder and name it Cloudinary, just to be organized. Then drag the certificate template into this folder. Next, go to Settings and then Upload tab. Go all the way down, you should see Upload Presets. Click the Enable Unsigned Uploading and save the Upload Preset name in the notepad. Next, create an endpoint to upload image to Cloudinary. Replace the cloud name and upload preset to the one you have noted down earlier on. The image and file name attribute is from chat view. Copy the link and go back to chat view. Go to Upload Photo Block. Scroll down to JSON API, change the type to Post, and then paste the link there. We are done with Upload Endpoint. Now we are going to construct the endpoint to retrieve image from Cloudinary. This is the part where you manipulate the image with the endpoint. You can find all the parameters on Cloudinary website. I will include a link below. I will also include a link to get this Google document. We'll start constructing using this URL. Take note the difference, the front part is res.cloudinary.com whereas for the upload endpoint is api.cloudinary.com Okay, as usual, replace the cloud name to your cloud name. This is the resource type where you can set image, raw or video. I break down the endpoint to four components for easy understanding. The first one is Profile Photo, which we are going to make some changes to it. C underscore thumb means it will crop and generate a thumbnail. And they work best with a combination of G underscore face, which will detect the largest face in the image. Placing an auto means if there's no face detected, it will automatically select the most interesting area. You can also use center, so if there's no face detected, it will crop to the center. Personally, I just prefer auto because center may not always be the interesting point. Next is to determine the height and width of the photo. For this example, I'm using 255 for height, 255 for width because it will fit in nicely in this circle. We have done transforming the first component Next is the Overlay Certificate. We need to set a path to the certificate. So this is the Cloudinary folder that we created earlier on. And then the file name certificate inside the folder. Y underscore 60 means I have adjusted the vertical position of the overlay by 60 pixels. By default, it uses the center point as a reference. You have to try and error to get the magic number. We are done with overlay, simple right? So next we move on to date. You can set the font type, font size, bold it, and center alignment. Just type the word date here. Later we are going to replace the real date in integromat. Again this is to set the position of the text. You can also change the font color. 
We are almost done. The last one is the name. Again, set a font. Just type in name here. We are going to replace it in Integromat. Positioning. Set a font color to white. Ah, this is something new. A means angle. Is to rotate the text or images by minus 7 degree. The last part will be the file name of the profile photo which will be uploaded by the user. We have done with Cloudinary. Now it's time for dessert. Integromat. This is my favorite. If you don't have an account with Integromat, use my referral link below to create one. We'll be only using two modules for this tutorial. Once you have logged in, create a new scenario. Search for webhooks and click continue. Click on the question mark icon and create custom webhook. Click the add button and give the webhook a name. Copy the address to clipboard and go to chat view. Select display certificate block, change the JSON API type to post, and paste the link there. Under the user attribute, put in cert name and file name. Then test this chatbot to create a connection with Integromat. Open up your messenger app and just randomly send some text over. After that, go back to Integromat and you should see this successfully determined in green. Click OK and add a module webhook response. Paste this JSON response in. You can find this in Chat Field API documentation under Sending Images or you can get it from the Google document that I shared at the description below. Next, copy the entire endpoint that we created earlier on. Paste it in between the codes. Next, delete the date and insert a function called encode URL. Inside the bracket, insert another function called format date. Place the now function in the format date to get the current date and time. Then set the format of the date that you want. If you just use the now function, it will give you current date and time. In my certificate, I do not need the time, so I use format date to remove that and format the date that I want. The purpose of encode URL is to replace the empty spacing in between the dates so that it won't return an error. Basically, it will convert spacing to percentage to zero. Now highlight and delete the name. Insert upper function to convert all characters to uppercase. In the bracket, insert the same encode URL. Just in case the user put a spacing when editing their name. And place the search name data from chat view. Lastly, delete the profile photo file name and replace it with the file name data from chat view. Click OK and remember to save the scenario. Turn it on immediately and test the chatbot. That's it, you have made it. Please share your certificate with me once you have done. Thank you for watching. See you.